Hello everyone, welcome back. Today is Sunday, April 19th, 2020. In today's video, I'm gonna do something that I haven't done yet. Actually, I've never done before ever. Um, whenever I think I'm going to make a video about a certain thing, um, a different subject will come up and take its place. So I'm going with the flow. Today, um, my family and I were playing volleyball <laughs> in our TV room and had YouTube on and it just randomly, we just let it play songs after we listened to the first two that we wanted to. So I let it just go because I seem to be getting messages from it. And I don't mean um, what the songwriter intended. I wanna make that clear. What I am saying to you is not what the artist, to my knowledge, is not what they intended the meaning of their songs to be. So this is what came to me as I was listening to the song, and a lot of actually came more to me as I was writing down my notes. So I do have notes today. So um, let me start with that. Um, let me pause, and then I'll be back. Okay, so the first song was chosen by my eldest, um, they asked to see the video for their favorite Lindsey Sterling song called Shatter Me, which features Lizzie Hale on vocals. She's from the, um, the band Hailstorm. We actually took them to see Hailstorm uh, along with Alice Cooper this past summer. It was their first concert. So, um, but this remains their favorite song. Um, also because the video has uh, like, um, dancing and they love violin they used to play violin in uh, preschool and now as i said they're a dancer so um i'm going to make a playlist attached to my profile here with all the songs with all the videos so you can go and you can watch the video i don't have any of the lyrics listed i wanted to post the original video so you can um search for them. You can search with the song name and then lyrics and you can find it. Um, there's a couple websites for that. Okay. So, um, you want to go off my notes. Um, the song and video, I believe both have, I got a meaning for today's time, what we're going through now and what needs to happen. It's about wanting to see the truth because our fear is stopping us from living. Um, we're locked inside a fantasy. We want to break free. We are afraid of what's real. Um, what we live in is an illusion. Um, but if we break out, there won't be someone to save us, only us. And that is, that is a fear. We, we do have to save us. We have to step up. Um, in the video, this goes along with uh, our current crisis, there are bats flying around outside of the snow globe that Lindsay Sterling is inside. And the, the bats morph into butterflies. Butterflies mean cycles and phases. So, um, like that is the catalyst of our current situation. So, um, and she sees them and then she starts breaking the glass to try to get out. Um, in the end, uh, Lizzie, the singer, stops time. She's like in all these gears and she stops time. Um, as you know, time, we have it in our third dimension, but it's an illusion. So Lizzie stops time and Lindsay breaks out of her snow globe, which was this beautiful illusion, this beautiful world that she lived in, but it was an illusion. And she started to realize it. And that's when she was able to break out. And the real world outside was more beautiful and it was open. There were no barriers. There were no walls. There was no glass. So she was able to be free finally. So again, that's, um, my interpretation of what I got, again, it might not be what 
was intended. It might be because this was more, this song was more straightforward for me. Some of the other songs are more a little out there, I think, compared to the normal interpretation for the song. Okay, so that's song number one, Shatter Me by Lindsey Sterling featuring Lizzie Hale. Okay. Okay, so the next song was also a chosen song. Um, my youngest loves I Have the Tiger by Survivor right now. Um, I know it might sound strange that my, my children like regular music, um, but I encourage it. You know, um, I've said that I love music. It's a big part of my life. So we listen to regular music as long as there's nothing inappropriate in it. So uh, my, my youngest loves I Have the Tiger right now. Um, probably because of Daniel Tiger, but, <laughs> so everyone knows this song. Um, and then where I thought I would go with this song ended up completely different. So this is what I got as I was listening to the song. Not the writer's interpretation, but the message that I got that I was supposed to while listening to the song. So, Okay. The song is about fighting to go forward. That is the meaning of the song. Okay, my message from the song that is not about the meaning of the song, which one, this is confusing, hot, possibly, sorry. <laughs> okay, it's about fighting to go forward, but to not forget who you really are, your dreams, your beliefs, challenges in our life, and in the fight, we lose ourselves from that. We almost become unhuman, like an animal, not thinking about other people, but only ourselves. Of course, this being about survival, and we do need to, to survive, but we need to think about at what cost. The, the pollution to the earth, uh, the sweat factories that go on all over the world where these people are being paid pennies just so we can have a product for cheaper, but not only because of that, but because the companies want to make the money because the employees don't make the money. It's the people who own the stocks that make the money. It's not the the employees of the company, it's the people who own the stocks and it's the people at the top, like the CEO that, that makes the money. So they wanna make their product cheapest as possible, not thinking about the people who are making it. And then we go on, let's see. Then we have minim minimum wage workers. And again, that's about turning a higher profit for the stock market. And again, for the people at the top, like the CEO, not the workers who work in the stores, etc. Um, and then we also have people without health care for the same thing, to keep the cost down, to make the profit higher. Again, the workers aren't getting any of this profit. They're getting minimum wage. Most of them don't have health care. And if they do, they pay a high price for it. So that if that's what we, they need, they think they need to survive, but they actually don't. They start, they need to start caring about their workers, whether it's the people in the factories, the people in the stores, the people in their offices, it shouldn't just go to the top and then nothing at the bottom. That is not going to sustain us as a society. And we are falling apart because of it. People care about money and we have forgotten about caring about each other. We all are family. We all are one. So, like I said, um, that is the message that I got while listening to the song, not my interpretation of the song. Okay. Okay, so then all the songs after were at random chosen by YouTube. Um, so the song, the first song that came up on its own was Europe, The Final Countdown. And this, um, hmm, this is about aliens. I will be doing a video separately about aliens and multi-dimensional beings, which are really starting to come into our consciousness. 
um, just think about the show Ancient Aliens, um, there are some truth to that, I believe. And, um, if you believe that as well, then you can watch the video about it. But um, I'm just going to touch on this. Um, the lyrics itself are just about, um, talk about going to Venus. And it's not the meaning uh, that they meant, but the message I got was going to Venus. We all miss being with them is the other beings. And we also miss living on or, or visiting planet Venus, being there. Um, and then continues on after we have the knowledge of this and we've faced that, um, we as a human race will never be the same. People talk about that a lot. If we ever have proof of alien life, the human race will be changed forever, beliefs. Um, and who knows what else, because it depends how it happens, right? If they come here, of course, you see movies. And um, I don't believe that's how it's going to happen. I believe they will be sending messages, channeling first, sending messages out like this so it's not um, scary and so it gets in our consciousness more, more out there and um, the more people who have it in their mind will not be as surprised when we have the physical um, reality <laughs> of them being here with us. Okay. Okay, the next two songs um, very simple to me. I'm just going to actually just go by these lyrics because I think that's just the message of them. First one was Crazy Train by Ozzy Osbourne. I love this song. This was, um, we used this song in our wedding, uh, like when we came out. Um, but the lyrics that stuck out for me, millions of people living as foes. Maybe it's not too late. So learn how to love and forget how to hate. That That is something we need to learn how to do again as, a, as humans, um, as a family. Again, we have to remember this. We have to stop putting ourselves against each other. We have to stop with all these fights over things that actually don't sustain us that have no real meaning um like i've mentioned before so now the second song is i will survive by gloria gaynor i actually met her and um at a retail store i used to work at i i sold her something so she she was very nice and uh she lives in new jersey too and um, so again, with this song, it's just um, a couple of the lyrics stuck out to me. And I just have to mention the, and now you're back from outer space <laughs> as another mention. Uh, but moving forward from alien messages, I will survive as long as I know how to love. I know I'll stay alive. Staying alive on this earth, this life, and after. Love is the key to us living together. We, we need to have love. We need to have harmony. But love, love is the key. Okay, so the next song that came on was Holding Out for a Hero by Bonnie Taylor. Um, so this is my message that I wrote down as I was listening to it, not the meaning or the intention of the song itself. Simple. My take, we're waiting for someone to save us when we have to save ourselves. We are wasting our lives. We have forgotten who we really are. 
why we are really here. That is what happens when we are born. But eventually, we need to stop being distracted and remember our life purpose. We need to forget about all of these material things, the wanting, the spending. Get back to Mother Earth. Save her. We are the ones who can do it. Look at these past few weeks and how she is healing. While humanity has been on lockdown, um, Mother Earth has been healing much quicker than they thought was even possible. It is possible. It doesn't take that much. And it's our obligation. This was our gift. This was this is our home. We are the ones who can do this. No one else. So we have to stop waiting for someone else to do it. Stop waiting for a hero. Because we are the ones who can save Earth. The next song that came on is I Want to Break Free by Queen. Um, again, this is my message that, that I was writing as I was listening, not the meaning of the song. So the feeling for me was similar to the song, the first one, Shatter Me by Lindsay Sterling. Um, we are disillusioned in our lives. What we have made important in this world is not important. Love is important. Each other is important. How we treat each other, we can help each other like family because we are family. Everyone can be happy, be healthy. Everyone can share the abundance of the universe, not just a few. Break free of this illusion of self and remember that we are all one. Okay, so now this last song um, that came on is Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi. This song is so Jersey. So um, most of us consider it our anthem. It's a Bruce versus Bon Jovi world in New Jersey. So some people will agree with me, some people will not. So I think the song speaks, speaks for itself. It's a story about real hardships that everyday people face. Um, people not making enough money, people losing their jobs. Um, but then from there, of course, there's the lyrics, we're halfway there, take my hand, we'll make it, I swear, living on a prayer. Um, living on a prayer is hoping everything will be okay. But we need to remember that we are living on divine time with divine purpose. We will make it. We have to. We have to get together, hold hands, do this together. So that is my interpretation, or not interpretation, but message from that song. So I hope you liked this video. And um, I may end up doing another one like it. I may not. It depends. Um what I think I'm supposed to do. So again, I made a playlist with all the songs that you could find on my channel page and it'll have today's dates. It doesn't have the lyrics on them, like I said before, so you can just do a search with the name of the song and then just type lyrics afterwards and you'll very easily find them if you want to do that. So. Thanks for watching. Love and light to you all. Blessings to you all. Till next time.